Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. Now, you probably can see what this look is all going to be about. But I thought today in the isolation station, a thought occurred to me this morning. As you know, if you live in the UK, the rainbow has become a symbol of hope across the world for all of us um, to do with coronavirus, but particularly um, in gratitude to the NHS workers and all our carers and workers that are still going to work and keeping this country running. I'm just going to show you the symbol that is basically part of the UK right now and I've got it on my window here. So this morning I thought what better thing than to do a rainbow look? And actually, this might look quite complicated, but it's really rather easy. And it's using Charlotte's most recent release, Charlotte Tilbury, her four colour coded eyeshadow palettes. What better thing to do it with? So I did this one side and I thought I'd do a tutorial showing you how I got this look and um, finish off the look and show you what I put on my cheeks and what I did as highlighter. And then I'm gonna finish off with a lipstick. So I hope that you can really get ready along with me and maybe wear it on Thursday when we clap for our carers. Um, I just think it's a lovely way to support those of us that are caring for other people. And I'd like to say a particular thank you to the carers that are caring for my dad in the nursing home. They sent a beautiful card this morning from my dad saying thank you for ringing him. Um, and they've just been absolutely wonderful. Um, it's not just NHS carers, it's all carers, whether you're being paid or not across the nation, that we all love you. So this look is for all of you and for all those who are working in supermarkets and are busy um, keeping this country going when the rest of us are indoors, staying safe. Okay, so let's get on with this look, shall we? Now, obviously today I am using all four of Charlotte's new palettes. If you don't have all four, do leave comments below because I can translate this into other eyeshadows, I'm sure, for you. So just let me know which palettes you have and which ones you're missing, um, and we'll, we will work something out together. But this is a look using the Charlotte Tilbury. So first on in, we're gonna use a smudge brush, okay? And that's all we're gonna use. And first on in, I'm going to start with the Maroon palette, Mesmerizing Maroon. And I'm going to go in with this smoke shade here. And don't worry if you've forgotten this, I'm going to do a little diagram as well. And I'm going to post it at the end and also on Instagram so that you can actually see what I've put where. Okay. So first on in, I'm using the smoke shade of Mesmerizing Maroon and just taking some on my smudge brush and putting that right on the bottom here. and just all the way along. And don't worry if you get some of the other shadow on this because you're gonna, it's sort of gonna blend them together anyway, which is what you want from a rainbow. So don't worry too much. You just sort of dab it in a line like so. And then what I did just to give it a little bit more glow is I then took the pop shade here and went over that with the pop shade just to give it a bit more sparkle so that I didn't have a flat mat on my mobile lid. Okay, just go over that like so. All right, and then I went in with the enhanced shade of the maroon palette and I did a line above that sort of gradually overlap so there's a slight overlap but you're just doing another line 
okay? And then we switch palettes, of course. And then I switch palettes to the blue palette. And then we went in with the smoke shade of the blue palette. So we want the smoke shade of the blue palette. And that went on next. Now, I do one eye at a time, but it might actually be better when you're doing this to do both eyes at the same time so that you get it balanced because this may turn out that one rainbow is a little bit higher than the other because I've done them separately. Okay, so that is the blue and then over the the smoke shade, I took the pop shade to make it a bit more vibrant and a bit sparkly. And I just took that over the blue, like so. And let it go over the edge a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna clean off my brush. And then I'm going to switch palettes again. And this time I'm going to the green palette. And the green palette, I use the enhanced shade, which is this one here. And then I took that over the top of the blue. And you can gradually see that your rainbow taking shape. And you can sort of blend, start blending some of the colours together. Okay, and then I took the prime shade of the green palette to get me a yellow. And I took that over the green. So you're just literally doing lines all the way up to make your rainbow. So it looks a lot more intricate than it really is. Okay, and then I switched over again to the last of the four palettes, which is the copper palette. And first on in, I went in with the enhanced shade, which is this one here. And then finally, the smoke shade of the copper palette, which is this one here. Which seems weird, doesn't it? Because normally you put a highlighter up there. But if you look at a rainbow, it sort of intensifies at the top. So that hopefully by the time you've finished and you can sort of blend the bits together there, you should have something that resembles a rainbow. Okay, I'm just going to go back in with that blue palette and take it a little bit further out, just to balance up my shadow. It's just not going out as much as the other side. That should do it. And then a little bit more in the middle, I think. That's why I think it's probably better to do this, the two eyes at the same time, so that you can make sure that you balance out your rainbows. Okay, so the next on in, we're going to take the maroon um, liner from the colour coded sets. And we're going to use the matte one to do a line on the top lashes. And then underneath, I'm taking the blue liner and I'm starting off by taking the blue liner 
about a third away across. I just need to look at the other side. And then I'm going to switch to the green matte liner. Until I'm nearly towards the inner corner. And then for the last bit, just to brighten up my eyes, I'm going to take the metallic side of the copper charge liner, like so. And then in the waterline, I put copper charge all the way along. I did try using the maroon metallic, but it, with the purple on my lids, it made me look like I'd been smacked in the eye. So this sort of works better. And then of course, right in the center, what comes at the end of a rainbow, but a bar of gold. So I took my bar of gold palette and I'm going to use this on my cheeks as well. But I took the original bar of gold, which is here from the trio, and just popped some of that in the corner there. Okay, and then um, if you, by the way, if you wanted to adapt this look and you just didn't like the orange at the top, you could put the bar of gold at the top as a highlighter. Um, then I used, let me get out my mascara. Then I used this False Lash Effect Max Out Blue Primer, which is very, very good as a primer for making your um, mascara look and your eyes look whiter and your mascara look blacker, but I used it as a primer for some blue mascara. But of course you could use black. I just thought by the time I'd done my rainbow, in for a penny, in for a pound. And then, I'm going to take this Bad Gal Bang Blue Mascara. It's very blue and put that over the top. So that's my eyes done. And my other half made a very good comment because of my hooded lids. He said, I can't see the blue. Um, which is a very good point. So I might actually take the blue a bit higher, but when I open my eyes, you can see it. And I'm just gonna smudge that in a little bit more to balance it out. Now on the cheeks, as I said, I use Bar of Gold and I basically picked the makeup for the names for this look. So on the cheeks for my blusher, I'm just getting my blush brush, I used love is the drug because that is true for all of us. Love is the drug for us all right now and certainly for our NHS workers and our carers, love is the drug that you need. And it's a lovely pink, vibrant blush. Just need to balance out that other side. And then Bar of Gold as a highlighter because we all know that there's a bar of gold at the end of the rainbow. And again with the lipstick, I picked it more for the name. So I'm just going to first of all use Pink Venus Lip Liner.
And then to finish off, the lipstick that I chose is Amazing Grace because all our carers and our essential workers have been showing the most amazing grace by putting their lives on the line. And I can't talk much more because I'm going to get tearful, but I just wanted to thank them all from the bottom of my heart. And this is the way that I can express myself. So this is my final look. Thank you, everyone. Please stay home, stay safe. Thank you in particular to the carers at Tall Trees Nursing Home who are looking after my father. I love you all. Um, you're so precious to me. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the NHS staff. Thank you to all the essential workers, including postmen, including supermarket workers, and anyone that I may have missed out because we just don't know, we take you for granted. I'm sorry that we do that, but I appreciate you more than ever right now. And I would like to ask all of you to do a collab with me, but I've particularly requested my friend in the States, Rebecca with from Not Fit For Print Beauty to join me in this collab so that we can do something across the nations. As the Queen said yesterday, we're all united across the world in our battle against this awful virus. And it just seemed really fitting that I did a collab with Rebecca in the States. Um, so she is going to do a look. Um, it may be a rainbow theme. Um, it may be something else, but I've, I've left it open to her creative imagination. And I hope you can join me and anybody else that would like to follow me um, I know that Clara Barrera follows me a lot. Clara, if you would like to do a rainbow look, I think it would be really fitting to say, thank you, NHS. Thank you, carers. Thank you, essential workers. And let's all fight coronavirus together. Take care, everyone. Love you all and see you all very soon. Bye-bye.